Welcome to PM Express. We are today coming to you from the Malata market. Why? Because we are talking about inflation, but with a particular focus on food inflation. Why is food inflation important? Because as you're beginning to see, it is the biggest contributor to inflation. A lot of people are having to come to markets like this to get their daily bread, something to put on the table for breakfast, for lunch, and for supper. But it's costing extraordinarily more to do that. So we're here for this PM Express Market Edition to gauge the actual mood here in the market, talk to people who are actually here shopping for food, and to sample the real views as far as this matter is concerned. And it's affecting a lot of Ghanaians. The way to do it often is not to sit in the studio, but to come to the heart of the issue. And that's why we're here today. So this special edition of PM Express is going to be talking to the market women themselves who sell this on a daily basis so we can drill down to the real causes of this. What are your views on the subject of food inflation? And many of you are there. You've been going to the market, so you know this. You know what is happening. Let's try and engage it. Let's try and sample the views of both people coming to buy and those who sell uh, these food items that we all love, but costing us far more to enjoy and guess who is joining me today and Kofi from our data analysis desk reset desk is Absolutely. joining me for a conversation on this because we've been pouring over the numbers so thank you for joining us always remember PMS is brought to you by Cherry Tree Properties is also brought to you by Syntex Tanks and by Lomo Beaters and the Ghana AIDS Commission Kofi this is important I mean the last year when we did this Inflation was through the roof, right? So we did the general conversation around inflation. We came to the market. We did the PMSF market edition. And we're here again for another edition, except that this time we're beginning to see that food inflation is becoming the biggest challenge for many people. And the statistical service is showing that. Let's start with what we know the headline inflation is. Right, Evan, so we know that the headline figure is around 43.1%. Uh, but if you begin to compare this headline figure to the food inflation, then you can see this vast difference between the headline figure and food inflation. So whilst we have headline inflation, 43.1%, food inflation is around 50%. Okay, so in if fact, you do the math, that's fact, a vast difference. To be more specific, mm. we are talking about 55.0. Exactly. 55.0. That, that is huge. And you are comparing the headline inflation is 43.1. Mm -hmm. Food inflation is 55.0%. So that instantly tells you that that is the biggest contributor. The biggest right? contributor. But if you do the math in terms of categorizing all of these you know, into subsectors, then you look at food and non-alcoholic beverages contributing more than 54%. So we are looking at 54.5%. The next category that comes close to this 54.5% uh, is around, you know, utilities. That's around 11%. So and, and, that is, and that is important, Kofi, to break this down. Because we are talking about what also we're realizing to be the share of the overall inf yes. inflation. Which, if you look at the food alone, the share to that 43.1% we've been talking about, food alone is contributing some 54.5%. So what it means is the headline inflation that we've been talking about, which is 43.1%, food alone is contributing 54.5% of that. More than half. More than half. More than half. That is contributed you, exactly. by food. Food is contributed yeah, to that. Yeah. 45. So I've been also been looking at the trend of food inflation, for instance. Whilst we had the headline inflation, you know, coming down, it peaked uh, somewhere December 2022. Then we had this good news of the headline figure coming down. On the other side, food inflation has been rising right from December. So we, we had this point, I think somewhere around April, May, June started plateauing so we we, we thought that would come down mm. but the current figure of 55 percent tells you that headline inflation for food is not coming down although we've seen the headline figure coming down but food inflation is still you know going through the roof and the important thing also to notice this of course is an economy that has seen in the last what five six years mm -hmm. the implementation of the plan for food and jobs, jobs. program and that 
primarily was to ensure that we have enough to feed ourselves. Mm. When you have enough to feed yourself, you wouldn't have food inflation biting hard because you have enough food for yeah. everybody to purchase. Exactly. When you begin to see shortage, more money chasing fewer goods, then you begin to see the inflation exactly. going so up, which is, is a fundamental definition. The supply pool inflation that we all talk exactly. about. So the, the, what we're then saying is, for the food item, you're going to be talking to the market women and those here to purchase. It, it's, they're not getting enough of that in the system. Mm, yeah, and so there's far more money chasing that. And, and it's in short supply pushing up yeah. the, the, and, and, the and prices let's up. Let's put it very simple for our viewers to know that assuming that you used to come to the market with 200 CDs last year to buy food stuff, now that same 200 CDs that could afford you you know, so many plantain, whatever, yam. Now you need more. So if you were coming to the market, you know, last year with 200 cities, now you need close to 450 cities. More than double. Exactly. Your, your salary is still the same, but just because of inflation, is putting an invincible tax of 55%. Mind you, PE is not even up to 55%. Mm. So if there's an invincible tax of 55% on your income, that tells you how you know dire inflation can, can let's be. break this down a bit more so what food items specifically contribute to this challenge mm. and if you look at it um, kofi vegetables yeah. tubers plantains cooking bananas and pulses so and and i love my plantains but over the weekend i was selling my colleagues in the office that i i took a lot of killiwilly but that comes from plantain, plantain right and if you look at the contribution of that that is 41.5 percent mm. however if you look at the weight which is to the inflation overall figure we're talking that is 9.5 that's huge that's significant that's very huge that's significant and a lot of more people then of course we, we like our yam we like our plantain we like our you know cuckoo yam yeah, right of which one is your favorite as far as the uh, are concerned I, I love you know kofi broke man so when plantain okay. becomes expensive i mean yeah of course and, the, and, and, and money and that's true. When you go to Kufu Brookman right now, the, the the lady who sells across the street, the prices have gone to the roof. The piece is now around three CDs, between three CDs and five CDs. So it means if you are holding ten CDs, it can only afford you, I think, three pieces of Kofi Brookman. Yeah. And that's that's way way expensive. And yes. and we are seeing that in in the list that we are reading from the statistical service. Mm. But then also, you also have second to that is ready-made food and other food products, right? And ready-made food, you're talking possibly about indomie. Indomie, as one of, you know, one noodles, of them. Yeah. noodles. that you, you go, is ready-made, you, you know, you pour it, you add some water to it, whatever it is, and you're ready to eat. It's also going mm. up. People like us who are very busy, unable to get properly cooked food, in we're grabbing evening, and running. That's, that's becoming like a regular meal in the evening, where usually if you have like 10 cities, 12 cities, you could afford the indomie, but now you need at least 25 cities to afford a readily made indomie with probably egg 25 cities and the weight of that 12 cities is 8.0 exactly and which is significant in the overall scheme of things when we're talking about inflation but then there's cereals and cereal products which is like the third mm. in the list of things so 7.8 is the weight we are talking about 64.2 percent and 7.8 is quite significant. Very significant if you compare it to other, you know, product that comes to this basket that we're talking about. Possibly a supply issue because we have all these, you know, factors going around us. There's Niger, there's Burkina Faso, yeah. and these are places that we get most of our cereal products from, tomatoes, vegetables as well. And if you have supply challenges, you know, across the borders. It simply tells you that this is going to trigger down into your market and you're going to have, you feel the effect in your pocket. Mm. And you made a point at the beginning, before we begin actually hearing from the people who live and breathe this on a daily basis here at the Malata market, the difference that you begin to find mm. between the contribution of food inflation and any other thing else in the basket that was measured by the statistical mm. service, right? Food inflation currently its contribution its share is 54.5 its share to the overall inflation so which means that more than half of the 53.1 percent that we've seen food is contributing to exactly. it the next one is housing water electricity gas and other fuels right 
housing, water, electricity, gas, and other fuels. And that is 11.3%. Now, if you look at that, that tells you a, a stark story. Whereas food inflation, its contribution, its share to inflation is at 54.5%. The next contributor, the next contributor in terms of share is housing, water, electricity, and it is at 11.3. That it's gap not up to 12. is not even up to top. That gap is huge. In fact, if, 5 if, you, to if, you, if you compare it to the 54.5, that means we are looking at somewhere around more than five times the first category, which is the 54.5%. The closest, which is utilities that you're talking about, 11.3%. Comparing that to food inflation, I'm t talking about vegetables. The difference, so if you multiply, the multiplying effect is more than 5% if you do the math. So that is why we're here. We're going to be talking to a lot of the people about this and so to understand what the problem really is. So come with me while we do that. This is something you may have experienced, but walk with me so we understand what really is happening to this economy when it comes to food. We all need food. You cannot survive without it. You have to eat. If you're doing once a day, twice a day, or three times a day, whatever it is, by the time the day ends, you must have eaten something. And it's costing you far more to do it. As you just broke it down for you, the numbers are startling. So let's try and get the real picture from the market room men and those coming here to make some purchases today. Let's go. So as we've explained, food inflation is a big deal. However, there are certain types and kinds of food items that we all love that contribute the most. And the first line there will be tubers, plantains, vegetables, etc. 9.5 in terms of its weight to inflation. Let's talk to my mother here, who of course sells yam. I didn't know what to say. Now, yam no. And to see, I'm a person with How much? How much is what? Eh, eh, eh. If you want and said that any price here, you chat us. Okay. And she said anything beyond a bonnet to me as a son. And I say, say so. I feel I have money, but I didn't hear your plan. Lord, a fair. Lord, fair. And when I read, and she just made a point, a very important point that listen, this is coming from the farm. You come up with a fixed price in it. The prices have been changing very constantly. But the biggest challenge they have is the cost of transportation. The cost of transportation. Now, who said trans transport, no? Any hammer power? Yes. Didn't he? Eh, sir, you say, service have you had a phone? I didn't hear the Kukura on confound to the Aquana Edda. So, she has a bad one high. And you know, over checking in your egg, so. And a Juma will say a full more Juma brew. In Tonyakon or Bran, as I said, you a boy, a fool, and ye ye man. It is like a crabby ye man, or the Nebrene, not packing in a little bit. So the only the enemy of the Senna or Treno, transport, no, and that mean ye man in Bonnie yet them. Okay, and, and she's just caught on to something very interesting. We've been talking about it for a while as far as inflation. She says the biggest contributor to the price of the yam you see in front of her is the cost of transportation. And of course, the farmers too struggle. So when they also get something as nice as this, they also want to make a killing. Um, and they are also putting a lot of labor. So that also contributes. Auntie, Auntie, now, Auntie, what do you say? What do you Twenty cities. Yeah, and I'm more twenty. Twenty cities. And I'm more twenty-five. And I'm more twenty. Thirty. Into the neighborhood, the pie at thirty. Yes. Okay. So we starting from 20, 25, 30 cities, you can get any. But now we fifteen. But I know Okay. So she also used to have fifteen cities for one tuba of yam. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. But now that is finished. Yes. Now, hey, now, now. What they compare with at time and I say one month, two, three months ago, no, not not the same. Oh, so Price say, a change can come about. They say a change. A change, a cost. Eh, ba. They say they change first. They change first. In yes. terms of price, no. They change first. They change say first, no. Can we say we better turn back to set that? Hmm. Back to say no. They say say twenty five. Okay. So what you say? But 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 say. Lord, if you need to make back for. 
Yes. But it's interesting. Uh, she says that one of this used to be no say nay I not first nay I thirty. But his now the price has now dropped to twenty five. Twenty five CDs. That is interesting. They met what was the price number for no? Uh so fain I won't we Okay. So I just say fain won't we fain won't we you are for now shy, a bit price the best ah now say yeah. Eh say it to me oh dear ye ye we dear ye ye we dear ye ye we dear ye ye na mu nyina mo timi atu na mo ba na be busua price ni be timi aba form beti aba form so as and afa so so ade aba ko so so say say bi o bu o ho a waji lo no ade ye djuma nti ama commission no awon mo je no e koso Cost, and she so also brought up a very important part: cost. So some of them, some of the farmers may have taken loans to get the input to grow this. They are factoring that also into the prices, and that is also costing. But transport is key. Labor is important, also leading to the prices. But notes that she said that something very important: that that tube I showed you earlier, which I'm standing by right now, used to be 30. It's gone down. But remember, we are in August. The inflation numbers we brought you was for July, right? Are we beginning to see possibly? We'll go to the town, we'll go through the Malata market here and see if this is a trend. Are we beginning to see maybe the August inflation may begin to show a certain downward trend when it comes to tubers, for example? Because at least for here, you know, 30 it used to be, it's come down to 25. And she says it's because now they've just begun to harvest. In the natural say, we know, this year, no, a blue crop. Ah, yeah, 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 chef. Seven, I shall see. I shall see. In the natural say, I'm on the back free farm on the big breeze. This year. Eh, so if you want to meet your year, my woman. Ah. So what is it? I didn't know you were moving. Okay. Obu, I shall see. I'm the one. I need you. Okay. This is a crazy year. Kakrebi, aye ye mano, wa bere. So on farm aye. Okay. Ana. Okay. Ana. Ana. Wa ye mano, aye mano aye ye. Na kakrebi aye ye. Osha o bere na wa bere. But but generally no, osha time na yumo no. Eh. Since I'm sure that aye full moju. Aye full moju ma. Okay. So. Oh, season. Season. Is it season ino? Season. I have never seen season. I have never seen season. Okay. Okay. So, enti osha o o o do we ni shemuko ebi a next month. Next two months, sir. Price the baba for more, and I say. Ah, I don't care. I just go for Okay. I just go for one. So I'm just checking what might happen down the line. She said, "Well, they're watching. They want to see." Remember, she said a few things. One, transportation. Two, the cost of labor, and what the, the farmers also want to charge for what they have, but also the loans that may also contribute to it. It's just a sense of where we are tonight with, you know, tubers. Yeah, as you say. Yeah. Is it bad day, Grandpa? Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You need an Yeah. That's all part of it. And so it's costing the la- the labor is important. The farmers want more for what they are able to produce. Let's get on. Let's see what else we can find to give you a picture of how much people are spending for what they put on their plate, either for breakfast, for lunch, or for supper. And Kofi, we just learned from the woman that the price actually for yam has come down. That was yeah. interesting. But she also made mention of cost of input. So yeah. she's talking about, you know, labor, transportation. She's talking about so many things. And the fact that some of these products that we are looking at produce, in fact, are not in season. For instance, yam is beginning to come into season. And so that's why we see this drop in price. But mind you, although the figure is, you know, 545 if you look at yam, for instance, it's just a sub, you know, a, 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 a section of what we are talking about. And so if you compare the whole food inflation thing, which is around 55%, she's just telling you that seasonal factors and, you know, cost of input affecting all of this. Yes, thing, you and, know, and that is very important. Let's, let's do another very important aspect of uh, food inflation, which, which surprised me, vegetables. You can see, um, let's see what... what uh, Auntie Pacho, uh, 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 what did you say? That's a very mother. Uh, mother. 
Yes. Uh, Auntie Mother here sells vegetables. And as you see in the food inflationary uh, basket that we've been talking about, vegetable is very important in terms of pushing the inflation up. Auntie, see, see, I almost say vegetable, the more, the more, because of the air. That's right. Don't you? It's a season. It's a season. Uh, cabbage in the price in the okay. but we say green pepper, okay. carrot, and the bone was so. Mm. Mm. So, you, you uh, so just you confirming, just confirming that cabbage price is down, but if you look at green pepper, anything, green, green pepper, pepper and a squash, no, okay. And so, anyway, what you see there, these items you see there, the prices have gone up a bit, okay. Indeed. 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 And no, no, the, the, the price is uh, the same, and uh, the body, uh, it's a price in the cost from. We remember the price in the bag near 22 million per bag. 22 million. Mm, 22 per million. Bag. I had 200 and 220 cities. Uh, yeah. 220 cities. Uh, okay. Okay. 220 cities for one bag. bag. For let, let, let's, let's show them what the bag looks like. Um, so one bag of green pepper. It's uh, that's what you see there in the middle. The green pepper is what you the see there. The full bag. The man. full bag mm-hmm. is 220 cities. Now, 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 turn the sands on a bag. Oh, it's me by 10 million. First, now, first, million. now, turn on. Thousand and as a standard uh, for the full bag, okay. but say being you, it's only turn and say you know, okay, it's say no bag, you know, not not basket, say no, not first, not on there be a full bag, oh, okay, full bag. Not, but see, when, 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 yeah, 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 arrange, well, arrange, that means that we're in a year 220, no, 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 okay, full bag, no? full bag, no, okay, they fear, you know, okay, it's yeah. where is you who say, where is you who say, yeah, mm, but my baby said, yeah, 200. Hmm? 200. 200 cities. Mm. Okay, 200 cities. So they see where you 200 cities. So mm. let's let's look at it. Let's clarify that. So what you see in the basket is 200 cities. Yeah. First, let me buy. Now go to my mama here. The mama 100. Or ah. 80 cities. Wow. Mm. Or 70 cities. It's the first name 100 cities for basket name. Mm. But mm. you see, you see, I could do 200. Mm. It's what double no? And double no. Yeah. See, price is no. So any money cost for any so you have any money to cost for kakra. They be buy from us only at so. Okay. Now then, I'm gonna catch the things that price the cost for sir. Two hundred. They buy two hundred CD there. What we say say in Sioni time. I say no. They do rainy season. I say any man. Any ana customers. No money we say be as a rainy season. They buy. Any man. Air for baby. When you be for 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 when you be so price is so different. At times, any man. Up and down, up and down. It's way no ultra, sir. Ah, we need to be busy now. First, no, you shouldn't say no. Say no. It's in Ipana or no, no, Diano. So, you can create Diano, so I'm price, no, cost room. Okay. So, so I think it's almost like a shortage problem. I mean, so the rain, rains are destroying the vegetables. So, they're not getting as much as they used to. Part of the reason why what they get is priced very highly. Uh, it's, but, now, in Shunu Jai, now in Sen, now we don't be Bria, you know, a bad thing. Price in the Beba film. Maybe you say lettuce. You say lettuce, Abba. Okay. Price in your fine. Okay. Price in your film. Okay. Mm. okay. And also, you do dry season. I need born yet. Mm. But no, uh, lettuce in the summer rainy season. No. Mm. Mm. The price in your film. And no only cabbage. Mm. Apart from that, in Yemen, I can't be very expensive. Okay. Now, interesting. Now, we, it's, 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 she just said something very interesting that. She's hoping that down the line, if the rains subside, but again, a lot of what they grow, as far as the vegetables are concerned, and destroyed by the rains and other factors, and they have enough in the system, that you can expect that vegetables, the price of vegetables will also fall. So, when you say, I'm going to the price of the vegetables. I'm Okay. 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 High cost because at times so bad when you be a firm when you be so was so and you know, yeah, people are so bad. He says, so so so, She's not making good sales, I'm happy with the sales in spite of the price price going up. So, that's another interesting counterintuitive issue. Actually, you think that with prices going up, the sales will go down, but he says she's pretty happy with the sales that she's making. Me that's it.
and interest in BC. So that's very interesting indeed. And Kofi is here with me. Kofi, that's an interesting point. Yeah, uh, this, you, this reminds me of the you know the Jollof index that we did, yeah. where we said that you need at least 350 CDs to put standard Jollof or cook standard Jollof for a family of five. Mm. And cooking Jollof, you need all of these you know uh, vegetables. You need cooking oil, rice, and all of these things. And when you look at the basket that we are currently looking at these products are densely in there and, so, and it's interesting that, course, that and i was trying to measure what is going to ha- what is happening with patronage mm. because you expect that once prices go up like it has gone mm-hmm. up for her sales will drop right but yeah. you're saying that well people are still buying because you know there's one chorus that's running through all of this thing that we are doing that supply yeah. you know so, seasonal factors yeah, you know people are saying exactly so people want it but they are not getting it at the price that they want. Then they are also not getting it because the quantity has reduced because of seasonal factors. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's more. Let's, let's go in and, and try and, and see what else, what else we can find on the market here at Malata. And then gauge a bit more of the reality on the ground. Another thing we need to measure, Kofi, is live animals, mm. meat slaughtered animals. We, we love them. Absolutely. So although the headline figure we're talking about is uh, 55 for food inflation, but for meat alone, it's around 55.4%. And if you look at the weight advance, it's more than 3%. That's 3.4% we're talking about. And we know so many you know, factors affecting the supply issues with Niger, you know, Burkina Faso, the coup and all other things. So if you look at meat alone, its weight is more than 3% in the food inflation that we're talking about. And, and as you can see, we are surrounded by meat. Right, this is the butcher shop here at Malata Market. This is where people come to buy their meat, and I love my food with meat. I can't have it without meat. So I want to test it. Well, I, I rarely go to the market. My wife does, and when she goes, she brings me my favorite meat. I eat. I don't ask of the price, but I know it's costing me more to buy. Let me see if um, I'm getting the true picture. Let's talk to the man who does it all. And as you can see, he's very busy at work. He's dressed to slaughter. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm fine. Great. Yeah, tell me, I mean, your, your name. Tell us your name. My name is Abdullahi Mohamed Jamal. Hi, Abdullahi. Hi, Jamal. Talk to me. How is market? How is market? Oh, we are managing small, small. Mm. Yeah. In but, fact, mm-hmm. um, nowadays, the market is not moving like how we want it to. Because... Because of, especially, this raining season, okay. it affects our market so much. Sales is not all that good because of the rainy. The rainy season. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. interested. How does the rainy season affect? Because you're talking about cow and goats and sheep and all that. How does it affect it? Yeah. Uh, normally, when it comes to rainy season like this, uh, getting the animals... Sometimes you move into the uh, bush to go and get the animals. So the cars that will move to the bush to bring out the animals doesn't want to go. Because when they go, they go, they go and what? They get stuck in the, in the mud. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes we find it difficult getting the animals during what? Rainy season. But it also means that they are charging you more for transport. Yes, to definitely. To transport the animals yeah, yeah. to you at the market. It does it. Okay. does it. And uh, during rainy season like this, especially when the market is so muddy, the grounds is so muddy, people don't like to what? Come and what? Purchase their items. So this brings slow pace of what? The sales of the, of the, yeah, of the, yeah, of the food yeah. item. Yeah. But, but are you also having to import some of the animals from other countries? Yes, definitely. Most of our animals normally come from our neighboring countries. Most of the animals? Yes. Ghana, so most of the ones I see here, look, you import it? The, the, the cow, goat, sheep, most of them are what, coming from our neighboring countries like Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Mali, and Niger. This is where we... Burkina Faso. Yeah. Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. Mali and Niger. Yes. As we speak right now, Niger is on fire with the coup. Yeah. Burkina Faso has a coup. Yes. Mali has a coup. How yeah. is that affecting the price? Uh, and, and your ability to get it? Yes. So far, so far, for the, for the ones 
in uh, Burkina Faso, and especially Togo, for instance, for them, DS are coming. Okay. But the ones in Niger and Mali are not coming like first mm. because of the coup. Okay. Yes. Niger is not coming. What about Mali? Mali too is having a challenge with the coup. Is that one still coming? And you know, I think they've closed some of the borders that are close to uh, Niger. Yes. Right? Yes. So, because of that, they don't have the chance to, what, to come in okay. to Ghana. So, what does that mean for price? If I want to buy it now, is it going to cost me more? No, it will not cost you more. We are still selling the price that we are selling. How long has the price remained the same? How long? Um, for almost getting to uh, six months now. Oh, okay. Early, early this year, our price was, it was changing like that. Every day we change the price and because of the dollar and this safer issue. But now it has been stabilized a little bit. So the price, the price is now stable now. Okay. So the price I used to... You, I, I can spend on this six yeah. months ago. Is the same now? It's the same now. The same now. Okay. The, so same now. the price hasn't changed. It hasn't gone up. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. That, that, is, a, that is a very interesting point. Yes. Um, so that is a very significant point indeed to notice that the price has remained unchanged for at least six months, at least here at the Malata market for me. So this is what? This is good? This is cow meat. This is cow meat. But, but we are looking forward. If we are looking forward. If care is not taken, what we are hearing from Niger blocking vehicles that are what bringing in goods into Ghana they are blocking them not to what come in if that thing continues then if care is not taken things will change for the coming uh, days so you are, what you're saying is that the prices will may go up it will affect the price. yeah may go up mainly because of Niger yes okay yes because, and that that means you, it means that you make you get a lot of your cow and etc from Niger right Niger Mali Burkina oh, Faso okay. and some are even coming from Togo oh, Togo as well okay. yes so the Niger problem if it's not dealt with will yeah will yeah sure it will price, affect our affect business yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so we are appealing to the authority to help uh, make sure that the problem of Niger is being solved. Okay. Else, That's the only way you prevent prices from shooting up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, Jamal, thank you very much. Thank you, Evans. Thank you very much. Thank That's, you. That's uh, Jamal talking to us. But um, mm. that is interesting. Uh, Kofi, I, his, his assertion is interesting because if you look at the uh, food inflation, as we've just been talking about, and Kofi, you broke it down uh, for us. Mm. Meat, live animals, etc. contribute significantly. Three point mm, four percent. Three point four percent. That's the weight. The weight. Fact. The yeah. weight, and which is significant. In excess of one third of the percentage, it is what. It's fifty-five point four percent. We're talking about. But yeah. if you hear the, the the reality, over the last six months, we haven't seen a significant change in price. Exactly because you know these are the usual suspects when you are talking about price change. You talk about exchange rates, fuel prices. All of these things have been stable. But here lies again, there's an artificial shortage being caused by war in you know, Niger, the coup and other things. So all the, the, the usual suspects that we used to talk about are stable. But there is an artificial shortage being you know, caused by the war in, in, in Niger. So you see their cars or vehicles bringing goods to Ghana being blocked. Now, when you are bringing goods from, from Niger to Ghana, you used to use from Niger, Burkina Faso to the northern region, back then to Accra. Now you have to cut the goods from Niger to Benin to Togo, now to Ghana. To exactly. exactly. So there's an right. the distance. Yeah. So there's, yes, exactly. That if that is not dealt with, it's going to significantly affect mm -hmm. price. Okay. So that's an interesting picture there for this meat market here at the Malata market. There's a, there's a bit more we need to do and so we can get a, a, a better picture of, of the items. But I'm beginning to see, I don't know whether I should be optimistic, but both from the tuber, from the uh, vegetables, now as we've just seen yeah. from the live animals and the meat, 
there's optimism there that yeah. going down the line yeah. things may improve except for the meat of course exactly. the Niger, Niger challenge markets women are anticipating that, that we, we are maybe seeing a slow moving down. from we are moving into their season yeah. so we are moving into the season that you are supposed to get more yam more tomatoes more you know plantain and other tubers so they are very optimistic that when there's a supply boom you know the prices will eventually yeah, yeah, come right. down I mean, th- that's that's the only hope going but at least we are getting the picture we're seeing what has happened and we are now beginning to project speaking to those who deal and and, and, and evans the, the fascinating thing is that if you look at the data this is a time where you see food inflation plateauing and economics before or in statistics exactly so so it means that the expectation is there market women have seen the curve in their in their own you know mind and all other things so they are anticipating that we are using the data but they are use they, they are predicting the reality, it, uh, the reality. and yeah. the data you know there, there's some sort of you know comparison if you compare it to the data for instance so now that we are experiencing the plateauing we are just hoping that after you know a beautiful plateau the curve will eventually come down and the price will eventually also go down as well there's one positive that's exactly that. Okay, so we're now at the shop bar uh, here at Malata Market. I want to see, you've talked about tubers, right? And what you see there is fufu. It comes from a tuba. It comes from yam, a make, if you like your yam fufu, or cassava. This one is cassava or and plantain, right? Now I want to see how everything else we've talked about, how does that eventually translate to the cost of what you serve on your dinner table tonight? And let's see that. Uh, so, Auntie Bata say, Bachelor. say, I say, I Okay, try half this, my friend. Try half this, you know. Okay. So I'm buying uh, two five CD uh, balls of uh, fufu. That's one. That's five CDs that you see there. She says I can't go anything below five CDs. So that's uh, one for five CDs, and I'm expecting one more to go. That's another one there. So that's uh, that's ten CD. That's ten cities. Is that ten cities? Uh, but first, let me 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 my me me pe me pe eh give me um and come in all what is here i been cut your light soup okay palm nut soup so i want palm nut soup give me palm nut soup you're going to give me palm nut soup where na me na um e no dey the bones in there eh mama mama na mama na papa na mama eh goat meat for her mama goat meat goat meat back here but okay, so goat meat. He said the goat meat is 15 cities, is 10 cities. Mame, 15 cities. Goat meat, 15 cities. Mame, 15 cities. Mienu. So 15 cities. I buy 15 cities goat meat. Two of that. So that's one of it. Is 15 cities. And the second one. Okay, so that's two. So this is 30 cities for the two. And you begin to see from the goat meat market we went. Uh, now fish, eh? Yeah, no fish. Uh, mommy fish. Like, how much is the fish? I try not to lap your India, sir. Okay. Salmon fresh. Salmon. Okay, salmon. How much is that? Ten cities. So that is that is ten cities, as you can see. Ten cities. Give me one. Okay, give me one of that. I, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Also, what year, my dear? No, me want to change my dear. Where are you? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So, two pieces of meat at uh, 30 cities, one salmon at uh, 10 cities plus the fufu you see there, two rounds of that is a total of what? Mm, that's 40 cities. 
Yeah, yeah. forty CDs. And I need to be I. Fifty CDs. Well, look at me. I was, I was, I was hoping that my food would be fifty CDs. So fifty CDs. Let's go and sit down and eat. Let's sit down and eat. Um, Pacho Debi. So I don't want ginger. So it's, it's, I'm, I'm just going to sit down and see if I can get it. Okay. So that's uh, fifty CDs. Okay. Coffee. Yeah. You have to come and sit down. Get a, get a chair and sit down. No, oh, Chief. <laughs> Chief, how are you? Uh, as, you. Um, as you can see, they, have, they are busy at it already. Uh, Kofi is going to join me. Well. Um, Kofi, you, you, this, as for this, your microphone is going to stop you from uh, eating. It's going to disturb So let's, let's give the microphone to, to our production team. You give us a, a longer microphone that you can, you can eat and talk. But 50 CDs. This is my, mine is 50 CDs. Yours or what? Ghana. You're only 60 Ghana. Yes. Hey, you have money pass. Oh, nice. <laughs> maybe you can't eat the way I buy the food. Maybe you can't eat that food. That's why. That's why. Okay, so uh, you're only 60 yeah. Mine is 50 cities. Yeah. And is it costing you more now? Is that your favorite restaurant? Yes, 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 okay. yes. Is it costing you more now to get your same food than it cost you, say, a few months ago? Oh, or has the price gone up or is it same? Oh, maybe some times ago. Maybe I can buy 30, 40. By today, they, I'm working with my friends, so that's why. I'm, so he I'm, has the money? Yeah, now they, you can pay, I also can pay too. Okay. Uh, so you used to buy this at 30, 40. Yeah. Now it's 60. Yeah. So the prices have gone up. Like? The, the price of the food, it used to be 30 or 40, you said. Yes. Now it's 60 CD, so it's yes. gone up slightly. Uh, maybe at times. Okay. Like, maybe. If if I have money, I can buy more than that. Okay. Uh, but if I don't have money, I I will lower my price. So hide the hide the money situation now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the baseline is you know purchasing power. He has he, he wants to eat a certain amount, but he doesn't have the money, and that's what inflation does to you. It takes money from your pocket. So he says that if he has money, he would buy more. He simply tells you that this is his minimum. He can go more. He can buy maybe. Uh, 80 cities or 70 cities but because you have the same money but you want to eat more and inflation is affecting you it's hitting your pocket right yeah that yeah. Is true. Uh, yeah so you say it's true it's costing you far more and then you don't have the money for so what Ooh, you i should give you money no, no, i'm saying that they asked what he was saying you agree you agree with that uh like the way you talk you the same thing uh so have you noticed that it's costing you your, your money that you now spend is, as you say, you, you, the money is, you're getting finished, it's getting finished very quickly. Uh, so if you had thousand CDs, like now, I have, now you're going to spend thousand CDs on this food, probably two weeks, you'll be fine. But now it's probably going to take you a week for that to finish. Maybe around, maybe a week, maybe I can buy food like, yeah, I can buy food maybe a week like. Maybe three hundred to five. Uh, week. Yeah, so week. That's, uh, so you, you compare the amount you spend on just you know probably your evening meal, right? Your supper. So this is and just one meal. One meal, and you compare that to the minimum salary that you know people are taking in the the public service. Remind you, it's around four hundred and fifty cities, yeah. and in a week, if you are spending close more than three hundred and fifty cities. It tells you the dire situation that people are in at the moment. People want more, but their money can't afford it. Their salary, your salary is the same, but you're spending more. Oh, is that not the case? Been, yeah. Your salary has gone up. I mean, maybe I'll be business man. <laughs> okay, um, okay, okay. Is business good? Yes, my business, maybe I'll, I'll be footballer. I also do mobile phone business. Okay. And, and that business is good? People are buying? And oh, my own, my own, like, like, if I can't know, like my own, like if I get I get money, I can buy plenty so that I can get uh, this thing plenty too. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if I get more, I not get money. I know a quantity I will buy so that. Okay. Uh -huh. That's why. People are making all manner of calculations to survive now, and that's what happens when inflation begins to buy. I, I don't know if you know of this formula zero zero one and zero one zero, and we also have now there's even zero zero half. 
people are doing zero zero half, you know. Yeah, uh, that's the same. Let's let's well. begin. Um, let's, let's begin now. And the truth is, I mean, I haven't eaten today, so this is an opportunity to actually <laughs> get something to my stomach before I go back. Thank you very much. Yes, 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 yes. You know, I didn't actually even ask of your name. Oh, my name. People call me Lampard, but my name is Andrew Slavi. Okay, it's Lampard, um, and uh, he used to play for a setting Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. You know, but people say I play like a Lampard, that's why they call me Lampard. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, thank you very much for the conversation, but as you can see, food is ready. Um, so that's our 50 series meal. He, he bought his for 50 series. It's supposed to be, you know, one man, but it's a serve. Yeah. So this is just two balls of food. Yeah. So well, I mean, let's, let's begin. Let's, uh, I'm not greedy. By the way, that's it for uh, PM Express uh, tonight. Uh, coming to you from the Malata market. We we'll just try to try and get you a picture of the of what inflation is doing to people's pockets, but also the real life stories from the market. The thing I'm taking away is the picture may be easy down the line. At least the market for many of her those who deal with the meat etc tell us like that the projection is that this hopefully will begin to ease as if we had said it actually agrees with the statistics and what the book actually says as the market women have been telling us but the reality also is that if you look at meat niger may actually play a role in the cost of meat going forward as you, as you learn. but also the cost of transportation as you saw from the tuba uh, seller the yam seller is also contributing very significantly you can only hope from the reality that we've just picked up here at Malata Market, that the food inflation, as we talked about, 55.0%, begin to ease up a bit in the coming months. We've seen the July inflation. The biggest contributor is food. What will happen in August? We don't know. But at least this gives you a picture. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Whilst I have my, what do you call it? This is not dinner. Um, you know, dinner between dinner and lunch. What about? Well, Bon appétit. Uh...